Hey guys, your man. Welcome to another SPI quiz. Let's dive back into this thing. Where is an image stored after it becomes digitized? A PAX, B scan converter, C master synchronizer, or D receiver? The answer is A, PAX. I have another question that's really similar to this one, and we're gonna go over that in just one second. When you have a question that says, where is an image stored after it becomes digitized? The answer is PAX. Now this next question, this question says, what happens first after an image is digitized? Is it A, displayed on a screen, B, stored in PAX, C, amplified in receiver, or D, voltage creates the beam? A lot of people have reached out to me about this exact question and they're thinking, why isn't PAX the answer to this question? And I tell them, this is saying what happens first, right after it's digitized. It's not saying when an image is stored, what happens after it's digitized. See the difference? If the question is asking where is it stored right after it's digitized, then you put PAX. If you put stored in PAX for this question, it would be incorrect because the first thing that happens after an image is digitized is it actually goes to display. Because ultrasound is scanning in analog, which is the real world. It takes that information and it converts it to digital. This is analog to digital, turning it into different intensities, different brightness of echoes. These bright echoes will be displayed and converted into a binary code, which is a series of zeros and ones. So right after that, the information will go from digital back to analog for display. This is before it goes to PAX. Once the information is displayed on your screen, then it's stored in PAX. So be careful when you're reading questions like this, make sure you're answering what it's asking. This is saying what happens first after an image is digitized. It doesn't go to PAX right after it's digitized. It's displayed on the screen. If the question says, where is it stored after it's digitized, then PAX will be the correct answer. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming SPI boards, feel free to email me at ultrasoundboardofview at gmail.com or you can personally text or call at 435-922-1635. If you're looking for extra study material, you can subscribe to my mock exams by going to ultrasoundboardofview.com. Scroll down, you'll see the SPI mock exams. Click on it. Scroll down and then you can click subscribe. If you're looking for some SPI tutoring, Go to the same page, look for SPI Tutoring, click on SPI Tutoring, and then click subscribe. Feel free to reach out to me with any question you might have about your upcoming SPI boards. I will give you all the tips and advice you need to know to successfully pass your boards. I'm Jim with UltrasoundBoardReview.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.